Hello my lovely 10th graders hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me Today we'll be going over a poem which is the ball poem from first flight So before we get started with the summary let's go over the poem together let's read it once so we can understand it better Here we go What is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is he to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went I would not intrude on him a dime another ball is worthless now he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions people will take balls balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back money is external he is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up so the poem starts with the poet's question which he asks himself he talks about a boy who has lost his ball and asks what he will do after losing it The boy was very happy and cheerful when the ball was with him. The poet further says that the boy must have lost his ball while playing with it by throwing it up and down. At that moment, the ball must have slipped from the boy's hand and into the street. From there, it fell into the nearby river and went into the water. The poet says that there is no use to say that the boy will get another ball the boy is very sad and is in deep sorrow he stands in a fixed position shaking and looking into something continuously the boy feels that all his young days and childhood memories are gone down in the harbor along with the ball the boy cannot be told to buy another ball as it would not be worth it The new ball cannot bring childhood memories and a sense of belonging to the boy. The poet further says that for the first time the boy has felt a sense of responsibility. He should take care of his things so that they do not get lost in the future. Here the ball symbolizes the happy moments and innocent days of childhood. The ball's loss is compared with the man's innocent nature. Once we lose our innocence, we can't get it back. Now the poet also says that the world is full of materialistic things. People will be losing something similar to the ball all the time. They get attached to materialistic things, but these things will not stay forever. The boy has to learn to live without them. The poet further says that no one can buy things back money is an external thing everything cannot be bought with money the boy is learning from his experience of losing the ball and trying to get out of that sorrow he is trying to understand the real truth of life by accepting the miseries or the losses that you have to face in life and standing up again Early or later everyone learns the harsh truth that suffering is an inevitable part of life and that we need to forget the pain and move ahead therefore we should learn to accept what happens and learn to let it go that brings us to the end of the summary and an analysis of this poem that we just went through hope you understood it leave any doubts you have in the comments below 
And before I take your leave, just a few reminders for you. Enroll for Anthe right away. Don't lose this opportunity. It'll be hard to accept the loss of this and let it go because you're getting so many benefits. You're getting up to 100% scholarship. You're getting your All India rank and you might just win a trip to NASA. How exciting is that? Enroll for free. Links are in the description. And as always, we've got you covered. You ask for it, we get you it. All you have to do in return is like, subscribe and press the bell icon. So go ahead and do that. Do like this video if you liked it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.